Okay, so I am at a doily and I'm about to go inside and get started. I'm so excited. Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a vlog for you. So I am getting boudoir pictures done and it's for a kind of like a contest for a 2016 confidence investor. It's with Adore Lee. But um, we won't know the results until I think the end of June. So either way, whether I get it or not, it's just fun. It's a fun experience and yeah, you guys will get to see a little bit of it. So um, it's nothing of course too risque, but it's all about confidence and you know, empowering women and it doesn't matter what shape of body you have, as long as you are confident and you love yourself, that is what it's all about, 120%. So, I'm just going to give you a few tips real quick on how to prepare for a boudoir session or what I like to do, and then you get to see all the good stuff. You would like to see how I get ready for a boudoir session? Just keep on taking. Okay, so first off, when it comes to clothing, you want to wear something that you are going to be comfortable in, point blank. So if you have a favorite feature on your body, whether it be your legs or your boobs or your collarbone or whatever, your booty, it doesn't matter. Focus on those that you love the most. So like for me today, I actually wore this bodysuit, so it's something I can pull down a little bit, show my chest, you know, my collarbone, which I really like, and then of course the rest was just my legs. I am so big on, you know, showing my legs, I really love my legs, and so that was something that I really wanted to focus on. It's so like number one, is you want to pick an outfit that is going to bring out that special body part or body parts that you love and feel the most confident with. Okay, next when it comes to hair, you want to have something like, my hair does not stay with a regular curling iron, so it only actually stays with a curling wand. So what I like to do is I do tighter curls and then I'll wait till I get to my session to kind of fluff them up. But you want to make sure you have a little bit of volume, but not too much. Um, just because you don't want it to look too ratty when you're photographing because sometimes those little hairs can be too much and hard to edit so just kind of keep it soft and wavy and that gives like just a really sexy bedhead kind of look and that is definitely you know something you want to go for when it comes to boudoir pictures all right and when it comes to makeup you want to go a little bit heavier with your makeup because there is such bright light usually at these sessions that if you go too light on your makeup it's going to end up washing you out and you want to be able to see that contour or a fuller lip you know or longer lashes so make sure you go a tiny bit heavier on your makeup than you would normally do that way it photographs really pretty but it's still um, you know flawless but shows up okay, and next do your nails <laughs> so make sure that your nails are done whether they're plain or they're painted just make sure they're not chipped so I actually did not have my nails done today womp womp shame on me my toes are done kinda <laughs> but my nails are not so make sure you get that done too you want to also make sure you have a little bit of color to you so I had a light spray tan done you don't want to do anything too harsh because sometimes when you photograph it can come out a little um, discolored or you know not sometimes the greatest color so you want to go for more kind of a light airbrush tan um, instead of something so so heavy so make sure you get a little bit of color but not too much when it comes to posing, the wonderful thing about these girls is that they are trained to pose you. So it may feel awkward and you're not sure if like you're bending correctly or if your face is like <laughs> weird. Like there was a few um there was a few times where you know you have to breathe and then you relax to kind of get that sexy face and like my bottom lip would like start quivering <laughs> I'm like ah, am I doing this right so but of course you are it's just it's awkward but they make you feel so confident and good because they know how to pose you and they know what they're doing so you totally have to just listen to them and it all works out 
Really, I think you really honestly just want to keep it fun when it comes to your session. Um, there's so many things that we worry about when it comes to, you know, stripping down in front of someone or, you know, keep these pictures fun. Like, whether you're doing them for yourself or you're doing them for a spouse or whatever, it doesn't matter, but just keep them fun. You know, feel confident, have a glass of champagne, and, you know, it takes a few shots for you to kind of loosen up. But after that, you just do your thing and have fun with it because you're going to be able to look back on these pictures and you're going to be like, hey girl, like I look good, you know, and that's always so fun. So make sure you have fun with it. No matter what you do, just have fun. So one of the tips that they actually teach you is how to have like a sexy face instead of a bitchy kind of face. So usually when you're trying to make that sexy face, you cut your eyes, right? So let's try it. But I just look pissed off, right? Like, I look like I'm probably going to cut you. Like, what are you doing? Okay, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in, and then we're going to breathe out, and we're going to drop our jaw. Okay? Okay, ready, set, go. See that? See? So I'm dropping my jaw a little bit, opening my mouth, and then you kind of have, like, a small smirk. Okay, so we're not keeping it bitchy with just the eyes. We're making it more sexy by dropping that jaw. Let's try it again. I want you to try it with me. Okay, come on. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> ah, it's so fun. Anyway, so that's just a little tip that they teach you, and it's something you can practice at home before you actually have your session. I think it helps a lot. Um, sometimes, you know, you just try to go so sexy, and then you start laughing. I know I do. Like, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I try to be sexy, and then I just laugh at myself, because that's me, right? So, anyways, okay, so practice that tip. Get your sexy face on. Practice in the mirror. And yeah, there you go. And I will show you guys a few clips of my boudoir session. Nothing too risque, but you know, just a little fun. So anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye. should do one of these for real. It's so much fun and you just look good about yourself. <laughs>